The story of mirrors is a journey through time. Early civilizations created man-made mirrors by polishing obsidian, volcanic glass, as early as 6000 BCE in Anatolia, modern-day Turkey. Around 4000 BCE, Mesopotamians and Egyptians crafted mirrors from polished copper, while the Chinese and Greeks later used bronze and other metals. These early mirrors were functional but did not produce clear reflections. By the Middle Ages, mirrors were made using a thin layer of tin and mercury on glass, but these were expensive and often toxic due to mercury exposure. The modern silvered glass mirror was invented in 1835 by German chemist Justus von Liebig. He developed a wet deposition process which involved coating glass with a thin layer of metallic silver by chemically reducing silver nitrate. Liebig's invention revolutionized mirror making by making mirrors more affordable and widely available, safer than older mercury-based mirrors, higher quality, producing clearer and more durable reflections. His discovery was driven by both scientific curiosity and the need for better optical instruments in fields like astronomy, microscopy and photography. Today's mirrors, though often made with aluminum instead of silver, still rely on the same principles he pioneered. How does a mirror work? A mirror functions based on the law of reflection, which states that light rays bounce off a smooth surface at the same angle they arrive. Angle of incidence equals sign angle of reflection. Studies found that people in rooms with mirrors worked harder, cheated less, and were more helpful compared to those without mirrors. Mirrors also play a vital role in medicine. Mirror therapy is used to treat phantom limb syndrome, stroke-induced paralysis and chronic pain, tricking the brain into aiding recovery. Mirrors reveal what we cannot see on our own, shaping self-perception and sometimes prompting deeper introspection. Mirrors have long been surrounded by superstitions. One of the most well-known beliefs is that breaking a mirror brings seven years of bad luck. This stems from ancient cultures that saw mirrors as more than just reflective surfaces. They were thought to hold a piece of the soul. Though simple and unchanged over time, they influence how we judge distance, motion and space. Whether in daily life or psychology, mirrors shape both our perception and our understanding of ourselves.